Hello, random people of the internet. I am Mudlinks, and this is going to be a playthrough Let's Play of Star Fox Assault, the sequel to Star Fox Adventures, and some might say the first true sequel to Star Fox 64. But, anyways, before we get into all that controversy, let's just go straight to the beginning of the story. And. Yeah, I thought I could think of something clever to say. I couldn't. I'm very incompetent. Let's just start. Remnants of Andros's butchers. You've kept us busy, but now your end is at hand. No quarter! Show these dogs we need business! Ships, battle formation V. Break through the center. The Cornelian fleet has broken through our front lines. They're everywhere. We are tough, eh? In that case, it's secret weapon time. Stealth squadron, open fire! <laughs> Well, Fox, looks like we're not too late. Yep, of course, General. It's just so crazy. I can't believe Andros had so darn many troops left behind. They're almost all common scum, in it for the money. They're quite dedicated for a bunch of hired guns. The leader of this rebellion is none other than Oikani. Okay, I see now. So we're here because... We're here because we gotta put this creep on ice. Yes, you must take him down. I'm counting on you. Now, get prepped and go. Let's go, team. Line green. Like an ease, no pushover. So be careful out there. Left line is. The outcome of this battle hangs on you, team. Are you all ready? Launch all ships. Okay, that opening is awesome. Like, that music doesn't get you ready to play this game. Then you have no soul. Uh, the, I, I just really... That song just sticks into your head after a while. Anyways, first level. If you played a Star Fox game, then 
this sort of gameplay shouldn't be too... Like, you should be used to this sort of gameplay. It's pretty much... Pretty much intuitive. You just press A to shoot, move around, to move the target thing and the ship. And you could press A and hold on for a charge shot. Or you could hold A, I mean, for a charge shot. Left trigger for a roll. And then you could do this if you push up on C stick. Which, I'm not sure what reason you really ever need to use that, but it's there. No harm. Uh, let's see, can I kill this thing? Yes, I can. That took a lot longer than I wanted it to. I'm honestly not doing that well. But I'm not dying, at least, which is a plus. Of course, as soon as I say that, I just crash head first into a ship. Uh, isn't, isn't that just great? But yeah, the game mechanics in this game, controls, they're not very hard to get down. They might be a little hard to, like, master, but you don't really need to, as I am demonstrating. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I should be quiet for those or talk over them. Uh, I, I, I'll decide. But yeah, they say use your bombs on these guys. I would suggest against it. They're easy enough to dodge, I say as I get hit. They're not that much of a threat, and you really are better off saving your bombs. Uh, the missiles are annoying, though. The enemy flagship is fleeing to Fortuna. That scum Oiken, he's getting away. After him, Fox. Keep moving. Follow him into the atmosphere. Adjust G diffuser system output. Let's go. Like, and he seems to have fled, but he may be lying in wait for us. I want all of you to proceed with caution. Worrying a bit much, aren't you, Gramps? Let's take it in low. Welcome to the first planet of the game, Fortuna. It is honestly, like, I really love it. It just looks really cool. Or just really beautiful, especially on GameCube. This game looks really good on GameCube. Uh, I probably should have meant to this. Wow, I, 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 I'm a failure. But if you manage to shoot down shoot down enemies that are on your friends, they will they will give you something. If you don't shoot them down, you end up having dead teammates, which does make the levels a little bit harder. But, um, uh, it, it's better if you don't let them die, because they can give you shields and stuff. But, it's like, it's not game over if you do. Uh, and I really wish I didn't let him die. That, that, that actually just makes me sort of mad. Uh, yes, Crystal, I think the enemy may be waiting for us in their base of operations. Just a guess, though. Boost. Yeah, see? If you save your enemies like that, or 
your enemies. <laughs> if you save your friends like that, you end up doing much better. And I might die. That was really stupid. I don't know why I did that. I just thought it would look cool. Uh, that's why I get for trying to so often. Look cool. I'm going to die. That's... Uh, if I die in the first level, that's gonna be really sad. Yay, shields! Uh, let's see, I wonder if any of these will drop a shield, because that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, probably not, though. But, what you gonna do? You've got nowhere to run to, Orkney. Persistent little pests, aren't you? That's enough hide and seek! Let me show you my true power! Oikany, you ignorant ape. What are you up to? Careful, Fox. You never know what a cornered beast might do. I must bring an end to our relationship! Die! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Welcome to the first boss, Andrew Oikini, nephew of Andros, the main villain from the first Star Fox. He is not hard at all. Like, I messed up there, but you could probably kill him by this point if you know what you're doing. Uh, but this is not why I wanted to save the bombs on. Uh, once you take down one hand, he'll start doing that punch move, which is very easy to avoid. And then he'll start doing this, like, claw move, which still is pretty easy to avoid. All you have to do is keep moving. And you have to actually hit him. Uh, set up, Winkity. You're pretty much the most annoying character in this game. Ye I'm saying he's more annoying than Slippy. Although, personally, I never found Slippy annoying. That doesn't look friendly. It's an strange thought patterns. No, it can't be. Aberroid, Aberroid, Aberroid. Aberroid? There's no time to hesitate. Return fire. Uh, okay, this is the first, I want to say, real boss of the game, because this is actually sort of threatening. It's not super hard, but it's harder than Oinkini. This is the Aproid, the first one we'll meet in this game. As you can see, its attacks aren't too hard to dodge. But, oh, they're not, like, the most deadly. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I, I completely lost my train of thought. That's good for a Let's Player. Very good. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory, Peppy. Uh, this move is just, if you keep moving, you'll avoid it. It doesn't really do much anyways. And once you take all the wings off, the Aproid gets it's some new summer. attacks. Look, keep your wits about you, everyone. Yeah, gotta get out of the way. This is the most annoying one by far. 
Uh, but as you can see, something's opened on top of its head. Something purple. Could that be its weak spot? Hmm. Uh, this is what I was saving the bombs for. If I didn't let Falco die, he would have gave us an extra one, but... Oh well. This boss fight shouldn't take too long, though. Ah, can't believe that actually hit me. <laughs> but once you do this, it just starts doing the same three attacks. This annoying one. The only reason this one's annoying is because it looks like that's easy to hit, but you pretty much have to go all the way up in order to even get close to it. And... With the meteorites constantly coming at you, it's just not easy. Come on, open up, you're almost dead. Perfect. Somehow, we beat it. Hmm. But, what a strange creature. Wait, what's that? I don't believe it. Fox, you have to get that. Really? Well, okay. Fox! Whoa, we got company. Fox, grab that thing and get out of there. And with that, that brings us to the end of the first mission. One that I could have done well, at the very least, totally all better. Ships are home. What happened? You feeling a bit rusty or what? Yeah, I I really could have done way better on that. It, uh, at least we didn't die. Sorry, Falco. You're cool and badass and all, but looks like you just couldn't cut it. Anyways, that's going to be it for the first part of this. And in the next part, we're going to go see what that thing we picked up was. And see what these so-called aperoids really are. I'll see you all guys later. <laughs>